large channel of light above your crown and I'm just tuning into your field. Yes, I can see Je Yeshua, uh, Jesus. Um, and I'm just going to take your frequency and my frequency up into a higher angelic dimension. They're just showing me a 12th dimensional angelic frequency. So I'm just taking our energies both up there together. Okay, kia ta si ara ara asho roto ikia. They're saying welcome to the realm of light. Kia asho ro ora isiana nekia. This could not come at a better time for the recalibration of Tommy's of your. I do feel like you have another name. Kia ara asho roto satikia. Kia nana ishoro ora roto satikia. They say your resonant connections with the archangel with Gabriel is highlighting the north node the point the direction in which your sun is your face is now choosing to look toward the light the sun the um higher energy realms every time you delineate or create a connection between you and um weave and meld into that in which you wish to become or represent your frequency is they're showing me how sunflowers look towards the sun you embody what you focus on so i'm just coming into your energy field and i'm laying your energy body down and we're just in a very beautiful beautiful white space and I'm going to begin to read out your energetic field now, finding any and all densities that can be cleared. As I look at the outskirts of your energy field, I definitely, definitely feel like your energy could be a lot more expanded, limitless. There are limit limitations and limiting factors on your field that inhibit some type of growth energy along the left side of your body is somewhat congested they're saying because of the line of the use of intellect in the first 38 how old are you by the way can I ask? Uh, 33 years. I born in 91. Okay, so they're saying like the first 27 years of your life has been... Um, um, imagine they're showing me an image of the horse with blinders on you have been uh, <laughs> running on this lane but you haven't known that concurrently as you run in one track there is a whole nother universe available to you so in naturally your energy as it expands to new information we are going to today run a clearing protocol and program on these <laughs> they're saying it like a program you know how like with computers like an older program yeah. operating consciousness needs to be released there are tethers there are ties they're showing your heart um uh, you know how ballerinas tie up their shoes like with the string they're showing me across your heart there are strings that are encapsulating you um, for self-preservation to a certain point but it is they're saying with your conscious expansion and learning journey there is now an inner journey that is taking place an inner healing journey of pain and suppressed they're really talking about like limitations limit like just human constructs mm -hmm. um is your history your family history um, they're showing me your dad. Culturally, have you experienced limitation or repression in your um, soul's light in this way? Uh, especially my dad. Mm. But I know that our family is a family of light workers. Mm. 
because he joined he joined this religion a special religion. Hmm. Yeah. But there's still limitations to your full sure. expansion, and they're showing me at work as well. Kura arratian na nashiro dagya. Do you work with um people in Malaysia or do you work internationally with people? You mean through my apps or? Uh, do you have a boss or are you your own boss? There's one man that's um, showing me. Have you ever had a boss? I I have a few job before as a boss. Yeah. Uh, no, no. Currently, currently I'm working for myself. This is before, maybe like yeah, that oh no no no, so that like maybe like six years ago. There is a man that they're showing me, and he was very like, uh, yeah, or or. You see, like, Indian stern. man. He's very stern and very like yeah, that oh, he's not white. If that is who you're thinking of, most likely there's something about. Did you feel you needed to protect yourself against this person, or like yeah, that oh no no, so like yeah. Basically, what they're saying in the interplay of. Hierarchical structures within the workforce. There have been fractions on your energy where your system has needed to be a certain way to survive and to feel safe. I guess. So what I'm gonna do is I'm yeah, it's the Indian man. They're showing me over his energy over the solar plexus. Um, yeah. So um, do you give permission to just release any cord ties attachments to ex employers? I haven't really done done that yet. You have? Do you give permission? Ah uh, yeah, yes, I give permission. Yes, yes, yes. Get that. Oh, are you saying yes, you've already yes. given permission? No, no, I haven't. I, I'm giving you right oh, now. Yes. yes. Okay, so I'm gonna open up like a very high frequency. There's like a, just like a spinning blue portal of light above your crown. They're actually saying there's a whole load of junk, like debris, in there. It lives in your spine. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just fractaling all of that debris, that density. I set the intention to fully release, resolve, dissolve, and return to the light to all archangels to step forward. Um, clearing any debris density restriction limitation um get the other usher and anyone else out of tommy's energy field what is it get that on an easter to the teacher to the ticket to the data that they should do you should have to get it it's like the old mask it's like the old suit that you would wear kya aro or shoro to ri ananana okori irata tisia ta to to kya ta ananana ishoro to 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 shoro rigidity there have been periods in your life where the mental constructs have created a certain rigidity around your reality kora arata ti ananana ishoro these chains have been breaking down breaking down kya ta shoro to you have felt the call in your heart to experience limitless Um, yeah, I should expansion. Yeah, I should do already. Yeah, that 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 that. So I'm just working over like the the torso of the body, just clearing these um, densities. It just looks like dark brown energy just coming off your energy body. Oh yeah, yeah, na na na. See, yeah, da da, I kya do, so do, I should. They're saying he is very committed to finding the answers, and kya na na na, should do, should do, kya da, ati should do, kya. He will be a great kya da da da, should do, kya candidate for the new earth. Oh, interesting. Kya da, should do, kya da, da, kya should do. They're saying it is people like Tommy, people like you, who harness both the intellect and the heart, the felt senses, and. Um, they're speaking about your compassion for others. You have both a depth of understanding and a kiata ora osha rota to si arati ana na 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 yeti shio to i kiata to 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 shio rota to i kia. And an ability to reach deep within your heart to foster kiata to ti shio rota kia. A bridge for fellow companions as they too cross the bridge or the journey out of kiata to that which constricts into a world. Realm where that which expands. Kiato osha or rota to si arata de kiana na nature or tota tisra da 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 da. So I'm just watching as they're just pulling all of this debris out of the throat, out of the mind, out of the heart, out of the left side of the heart, the solar plexus.
They're saying they're clearing right now a layer of grief and sadness over the heart, a longing that you have felt to feel this deep connection in which the times on this planet you have felt a disconnection. So they're just clearing this, uh, it's like unconscious or undercover grief and sadness right now. They're saying you have clipped your feelings very close to your chest, and in this burying and protection, there has been a disconnect from lighter energies. In clearing these densities, you are able to feel deeper the love that you are looking for so they're just clearing that out of the heart it's been trapped for a very long time Okay, well done. That's still clearing. They're just speeding up the energy around the throat, on the left side of the heart. going to call on Saint Germain of the Violet Flame to enter this space with us now. And he's just putting two hands of violet light in the left side of your heart and in your sacral. And he's just going to start to transmute and lift out this heaviness. I'm actually going to run all of that violet light the whole way through your energy body just like one big transmuting light channel of energy coming in through the base of your feet just taking long deep breaths as this energy moves through he's saying that you can start to explore your connection to dragon consciousness and dragon lineage this will be a very fun adventure for you as you embark on a journey into other dimensional planes of existence to reclaim positive memories with your dragons like yeah there's a time where you cared for them very deeply and they cared for you they're saying you are a traveler a galactic traveler you like to taste the fruits taste the foods like do you even travel a lot in earth on earth Yes, 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 I do. Yeah, they're showing me you're a willing participant for the experience because you, they're showing me like plane tickets, you go, you taste the food, you meet the culture, you really immerse yourself in the experiences. And this is a lineage, this is a, a part of your soul's enjoyment. This is why you came to the planet as well. And you've done this in many other incarnations as well. They want to work on the energy of guilt right now. Guilt and shame. Okay. They're showing me in the lower sacral on the right hand side, there are pockets of energy. If you imagine little balloons. Do you, anything coming to mind when they reference deeply, um, even unconscious guilt and shame and fear? Are there mm, any? Not, not really, I think. They're showing me on your mother's line, the mother's side. Is your mother still alive? Yes, she is. I'm just asking, is this an embodiment of her energy? Do you feel any um, guilt in relationship to your uh, connection with your mother? Mm, I don't know. My heart said no. Okay, trust I don't your know. Heart. Does your mother carry guilt 
Um, I think so. Because they're showing me definitely it's the words guilt, fear, and shame that have been embodied as structures within your field. So let's call in your mother's higher consciousness now and calling in your mother's um, energy. Oh, they're showing me she's crying and crying. Um, when you were a little child, did you come from a place where she couldn't give you what you needed? Um, yeah, they're showing me in her belly. Yeah, you've carried your mother's. Um, I guess you can do the mother's lineage clearing as well through the chakras. But I'm going to now do yeah, give permission to release any of the mother's ancestral guilt, fear, and shame in your system that's been embodied when you were like two ages two to four there's something that they're showing me i feel like she really wanted to provide you with a certain type of something like a certain life is that important to her she didn't really mention it but i do know one thing that she actually have a miscarriage on the second then i have a little brother there oh interesting how old were you when your little brother was born or when she had the miscarriage uh, so the miscarriage i'm not quite sure maybe a, f a few years before me then after having me four years after my little brother I'm going to do a full clearing of any and all of the mother's energy that is lower vibrational that has been embodied by uh, Tommy right here now yeah she carries some type of family shame is it shameful to have a miscarriage? I can't imagine why. Um, I call in Christ consciousness. I call in any beings that can now please assist Tommy clearing the mothers. Okay, yes, that's releasing out of the sacral right now and out of the heart. They're saying familial shame, like she's experienced some type of shame around standards or something. So all of this energy is just projecting out of the left side of your heart. You chose um, Christ consciousness. Yeshua is just stepping forward. Um, I just see his energy very green and gold. He's very, 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 very your friend. Um, he's just placing two hands of light over each side of your throat. And we're just going to use his energy to go down your body in a moment. You chose to come through to help your mother clear things. You are a light vessel for her youth um kyanana soto ishi tisi ki ayati ki ya eki oro oso yiki you carry some of her repression in your throat um ko soto iana ayato ye tia so i'm just letting him run that light in your throat now He likes that you're, uh, he's saying something about your purity, your cu inquisitive mind and your curiosity delight him. Um, not that you are there to delight anyone, but he, he naturally finds it delightful. Okay, so that energy is just radiating down your heart and he's coming into the center point of your heart now i'm just going to go a little layer deeper before we do that we're just coming to the left side of the solar plexus and the sacral i'm just clearing any and all of the mom's debris density heaviness and the shame guilt fear Okay, so they're just placing a tube over the center of your um, sacral right now. Okay, so 
rotori aia na na shur rotori i si arata te kia to o no 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 shur rotori te 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 asking to just uh, turn up the energy please and clearing this a little smoother thank you <sighs> they're saying something about it is important that your light was switched on through these times i feel like Hang on, let me just program this energy clearing to continue. Do you guys have this? Can you continue? Yes, okay. Okay, I was just going to keep clearing. Thank you. <laughs> There's something about it is important that you awoke when you did in the time frame that you did for the evolution and... Um, within your workforce within the people that you interact with on a daily basis there's something about your frequency um, that provides safety to others and i feel that as you go along your journey making like normalizing higher consciousness wisdom as very basic universal truths is what they're saying you take higher concepts and make them very tangible and bite-sized and it's almost like you logicify woo woo does that make sense it's that like that does make sense yes yes it's like you take a very 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 richly spiritual concept and then you make it seem so basic for people to be like of course there are dimensions oh of course we can't die because energy cannot be destroyed it can only be like this kind of thinking and you place these into bite-sized packets and there are many in the industry they're showing me um there's to, the, um one idea at a time um and they're saying okay they want me to talk about this first something called high frequency coding they're showing me they're showing me like bots or programming a part of your galactic lineage was programming um consciousness they're showing me this bot right and they're showing me different strands of energy but like literal wiring there is a way i didn't know this there is a way for <sighs> um give it to me in words so i can understand there is a way on earth to replicate and mirror super advanced consciousness that utilizes technology um imagine there's a robot and there is a central energy channel for the robot or the data bank or the brain whatever there are certain cables red black blue green that intermingle and they all have a coding special set jobs that they attach to at the top so there's they all plug into these little ports there is a way that you can add a golden strand which is a representative of connectivity into sentience connectivity into god source consciousness into get the, the true light um get the, there are many on your planet they're showing me like just uh jeff bezos type dudes i don't really know much about anything like this but there are people on this planet who are conscious and aware that this can be done and there are people conscious and aware that they do not want this to be done um, humans are highly programmable through tech they're saying and some of the functions of the technology that is being created and programmed at the moment is divisive and is limiting um, manip uh, manipulative in its behaviors unconsciously right. so if it is your interest they're saying um they're showing me who like whistleblower um type characters who 
go into the basement of、um, where they should not look, is what they're saying. Like Assange and people like this. Through your inquisitive and curious nature, you are able to go down into the basement, bring a flashlight, and expose the darkness of archaic,、um, old. Consciousness programming. So they're saying that this comes, this none of this is from Earth. They're showing me、uh, like Rothschild,、uh, Roth like the energy that is being created through these programs are very negative, and you have the ability to go in and almost show from the inside out what a positive code looks like and what a negative one looks like. And as you continue along your path of advancement, these two elements of your life coincide and you. Unify your spiritual quest if you so choose to partake can harmonize and synchronize with your、um, physical mission. Um, get the children, your skill set, and be a part of a very exciting new branch of consciousness that is. Expanding over the next 20 years is what they're showing me. They're showing me there's already tech hubs that are pl- like ch-、uh, China.、Um, do you go to expos? They're showing me you're going to,、no. an, they're showing me you're going to an expo. Okay. There's like a big room. And everyone's like excited to present their like in- innovative、um, creation. An aspect of your job is keeping tabs as well. So there's a part of your consciousness that almost relays information on the nose. They're saying it's important for you to keep up with. Like, do you already do this? Do you like keep up to date with like advancements in AI and advancements in tech and things like this? I do, I do. And through my little brother, he's in AI and machine learning, all the latest、oh, wow. AI stuff. Yeah, yeah, interesting. Because I'm like, why are we talking about AI? I don't think that's the same as software engineering, but whatever.、Um, they're also saying that you will learn to channel.、Um, they're showing me your soul star chakra right now.、Um, if you undergo some type of training to harness and wield your abilities, it will only Foster. Oh, okay. Sorry, they're just sending me messages so fast.、Um, let me just take a moment. If you learn to harness and channel your, your channeling abilities,、um, so relaying, communicating telepathically,、um, downloading visualizations. These types of experiences will enable you to be able to have direct communication and ask questions like, What should I be doing embedding this into tech? Like working with the tech and AI realm and working with the spiritual realm. As you learn to channel, you won't just be simply channeling information of like, And Jesus says he loves everyone. No. There is very specific de- de- device information. Um, that you can download, and you can also feel into timelines of where humanity is going and shift and affect the mass population toward something more harmonious and representative of our potential galactic、uh, heritage and future. Does all of this make、mm-hmm. sense so far? Yes, it does. Please feel free to ask any questions.、Um, They're going to do a little soul star activation. They're saying, We know that you're willing and excited to move forward in what it is that your path is. Have you been asking yes, about yes, your yes. soul? <laughs> you're like, Yes, 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 yes. yes.、Um, okay, they're going to do a soul star activation now.、Um, They want you to ask, they want you to use your throat more, like literally speaking aloud more things.、Um, the way you receive information is in small packets. 
bytes, files, codes. They want you to visualize your soul star chakra now as like a golden, of as whatever you want to visualize it. Now, when you are ready for a new download or a new concept, what you are to do is to project a beam of light up into the higher dimensional landscapes. Um, I can teach you how to do this, or you can just imagine what I'm saying. And they want you to imagine an envelope or a file. When you are ready to have the new information, there is a bunch of like codes. Uh, they're showing me like zeros and ones and pressed into a piece of paper and it's folded several times when you are ready the information will come into your soul star and into your crown into bite-sized pieces and this will look like insights this will look like um do you ever have profound sensations of like haha this is what i must do next um they're showing me you won't like sometimes yeah 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 this will increase these synchronicities and these downloads will increase the more that you pay attention and generate light and energy toward your the space which enlivens your soul is what they're calling it um he likes the feeling of being excited so basically you get to be in charge they're saying of when you want a new download when you want a new concept you ask you ask to um, receive it into your soul star and then you just let a channel of light so i want you to feel golden energy and now that it's in the soul star you're just going to rain it down like rainbow like thousands of strands of energy information influx of your higher divine knowingness coming down into your crown i'm just going to run that now like a program or a system coding the rest of your body just bringing it down through the third eye the third eye needs a bit of a clear out there's stagnated energy at the back so i'm just asking them to re to just thank you yeah oh they just took out a chip and it had like all of this dirt and debris on it and they're taking that Ooh. away and they're putting in a new it looks like a floppy disk <laughs> <laughs> That is so funny because it's the old tech and what they brought in is like a SD card or something like a literally that's so funny. Get that oh sure get sir get you sure one second, I'm just gonna do the process. Get that they're saying one great thing about you is once you believe some once you understand something it very quickly turns into a belief and the power is within positive beliefs because your beliefs are the structures that create the foundation of your experiences so that's a positive thing that they're wanting to mention about you they're also saying it's very positive that you do things through the light um like in reverence and in connectivity with the higher realms because this will greatly accelerate your mission and what it is you're here to do for the greater good you know mm -hmm. um, and they're saying this is something that's very important to you is giving back okay so just moving that I'm just in the third eye right now. Okay. Now running that light, that rainbow light down into the throat. Okay, so they're just running that light now down through. Oh, your high heart. So just recoding the energy of your high heart. They're saying the energy of the heart is a vortex that could do with like an increase of light, more get the sort of like allowing and receptivity to yeah just focusing more energy in the heart the high heart because the heart is a portal where you can travel um get the there is past hurt there is past 
like off planet hurt. We can explore that in another session. Ooh, ouch. I won't go into that right now. But I'm just uh, spitting the energy in that heart space. They're saying like things have to be revealed at the time. Like, show me like you walking along a road and then you come up to one thing and there's like a boom gate and it's like ding ding ding. Here are the lessons you need to learn and there's like a little printout. And you're like, okay, I'm learning this and I'm learning this. And once you've integrated, the boom gate goes ding, 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 and you can walk on to the next. So there really is a um, pathway that slows down and speeds up, like how you're at the airport and you can sometimes walk and sometimes you can get on the travel later and you can go a little bit faster to your destination. There are poised and perfectly placed elongated periods of time which alter the progression and path based on your knowledge and integration of the core foundational fundamental things that you came here to learn oh that was a mouthful <laughs> um, is this making sense so far yeah okay so just moving that new energy down now and I'm just going to fill up just the left side of the heart with this light. It's like a very, 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 very intense green light. Do you have love in your life? Uh, yes, my girlfriend is in Singapore. Is she very pretty with like, kind of like medium long brown hair? Like this, like uh, yes. hair. Yeah, get that. Do you have a child? No, no child. Do you want a I child? I will marry. No, no, I don't think so. No children. Does she want a child? Uh, she said it's okay to have no children. Why? That's the children there, is it? She's they're showing me a child in her hands. Get the <laughs> Does she want a child? Uh, I asked her before, she said it's okay to have no child. I'm not sure, maybe in the future there's a child? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, let's ask. Um, They're saying there are several potential children to come through this lineage. Um, this is a planet of free will. You definitely have free will. Everyone is participating in a co-created contract. Um, there's a child there if you want to have a child like I'm just letting you know um, get that oh, okay. three yeah maybe things will feel different in like three years time how old is she younger uh, no older than me she's oh, okay. 40 41 I think okay she looks so young she's so beautiful yeah yeah, um, she okay. doesn't look old. She does not look old. She looks like 27. Like, she's so pretty. They're saying as your heart expands and shifts, you maybe will want a child, or maybe not. It really is up to you. So just be conscious that if there is a decision, that there are... One. I'm just saying one. But also, like... There are so many timelines, so don't take this as like anything, you know, don't give it any gravity if you don't want it to have any gravity. Um, okay, so now they want to do a clearing of your auric lining. So I'm just asking your partner to step out of the field. Oh, I really like her. Okay, so they're just showing me on the ground this like, um, is that a star of David? Um, what is that? The star. And then just um, upgrading your energy field. The oh, Metatron's here. Oh, Metatron's cube inside of the cube has a. There's some structure I, I can draw for you. Okay. He's just activating the lining of your energy field right now. Mm. 
Mm, very Arcturian energy is just step forward. So if you are open to it, I would like to also use yes. their frequency. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. You will find resonance in a large part of your intellect connecting in with a hive mind of our creations with our technology. Conscious contact will enable you to come aboard of our ship and watch how we utilize and wield our intentionality, our um, interfacing with bio technology so they're saying that like robots that have biology if that makes sense they're showing me like um it has its own dna imprint so i'm just calling on any and all arcturian coding and highest light arcturian for um uh, for Tommy, get the sorry, na 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 na, yeti ayoko, yesi yate, na yeti ayake. Saying we are a part of your family of light. Um, get na na so ye i aye to kori aro sorry, na yekio koi yekio. I'm just channeling that Arcturian energy, that Arcturian light, into your field, into your frequency. They're saying that they show you things at night, so I think that you're already having contact with them. You can do this in a more realistic, like a more tangible way if you like. You're very good at space travel. You are actually quite good at letting your mind go when you want to and just going. Does that make sense? Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I don't really feel. Can you, can, they, can you ask them to help me extend my memory so I can remember? <laughs> They're saying you can have more conscious contact through guided experiences. Um, They're just working on your crown right now. One moment. So just feeling that energy, they're just moving that through your field. <sighs> we come in reverence. We admire your skill set. And they're just... They're just surrounding your field in this in this light. Okay, I'm just gonna let her work on the central energy channel for a moment. Have you ever had a QHHT? Oh no, you've never had. I think it would be best, they're showing me, if you had a QHHT, like a quantum hypnosis healing technique session with someone. Um, you can access your memories from this state of consciousness. It is bypassing the conscious mind and accessing this. Like this is Katie speaking, I've had a, I've had a lot of these sessions, they're really amazing. Um, they're saying once you have the connection and the felt sense it will be much easier for you to access alone um, doing an activation is just um so those coatings are just coming into your field right now one moment they're 
You want to clear out there's like a small program of unworthiness in the right hand side of your sacral whether that belongs to you or your family I'm just going to clear that now. Releasing, resolving, dissolving this program from Tommy's system now, please, for the highest good. I'm just going to ask, are there any negative programs, bots, AI, lower vibrational consciousness, attachments, hooks, implants in his field? Yes. Where? In the crown? Something about like a negative memory loop or some type of memory looping. Well, could you please remove that now? And there's one in the left side of the throat. Okay, one second. And then the spine. Calling on the highest high dimensional Arcturian light, please, to remove any and all programs of negative hawks, implants. Yeah, okay, that's just sucking out of your field now. Thank you, thank you. I was saying, due to the nature of your work, do you look for bugs in code? Yeah, I do. I do yeah. debugging all the time. They're saying due to the nature of debugging, you can only help but the eyes are a portal. Um, get that shut and that is There's something about if you're reading bugs and codes, there's something about that. Um get that but it doesn't sound as like hectic as like what I just said, it's not that big of a deal. But they are saying it is important for you to learn energetic protection within your work. Um, get that shit. Just training in general for harnessing your frequency and energy will be very helpful for you. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna scan one more time. Are there any active or unactive? Are there any cords, ties, bugs, programs? Negative interference. Yes, something in the solar plexus. Negative interference. It's like static. It's like, show me how you turn on a TV, but you don't go to an actual channel. It goes to that gray thing. It goes, Shh. the static <laughs> in your field in the solar plexus. It's been there since you were a boy. Clearing any and all interference, static. Okay, that's lifting up and out of your field now. You're doing great, by the way. The energy is clearing really nicely. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <sighs> They're just showing me this very beautiful lilac frequency that they want to replace now. Sovereignty. <laughs> now I'm calling on are you chilling for the rest of the day can I set some of this energy to remain active over the next yes, four yes. or five I'm hours chilling. yes yeah. no problem yes okay 
I call in any and all angelic coatings, new light energy, new information for the soul, for this being, for this system from the very highest, purest source to continue without me, just flooding through his energy, harmonizing, integrating, inter reacting, like how a reactor goes off and then everything turns on. They're saying you might have a lot of insights, like they're just showing me light bulb moments in your um, explorations. If you feel strongly when you read about an archetypal energy, you do have a connection with them. They're showing me layer in consciousness if you start to learn more about them um, then go with it you know like your feeling senses are coming more um, active little by little they're saying though don't like overdo it you know you still have to like have a job and stay grounded and connect with your partner so i said all of this energy to remain active over the next oh 13 hours for full integration is what they're saying okay so i'm just running that through the lining of your field I'm just sealing all frequencies, all energies up. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them now before the energy shuts down. Uh, why do I have a liking in crystals since the start of this year? <laughs> crystals are a foundational um, pathway to open up into electromagneticism. We each are embedded with our own crystalline technology. Computers utilize crystalline piezoelectrical effects um, get that, get that, get that, get that, yeah. you have utilized this technology in a much superior and advanced way um, get the shit Atlantean crystallization techniques and other ways to harness uh, electricity is what they're showing me and other forms of wave lengths sound waves light waves um they're a conductor they're showing me you holding a um it just it looks like a lemurian quartz it's like a quartz they're saying there's like left hand and right hand and a positive and negative charge and then you swirl them like this and it rebalances your energy field because energy travels in a co current like they're showing me it going like this spiral like this but clockwise anti-clockwise yeah 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 positive negative get those sort of to get the lore of it is there such thing as the lore of positives and negatives i don't know get that sort of to get and i said that the other um get that sort of to get physics you have a master physicist mind um get the sort of thing does this answer your question yes yes it does are there any more questions oh yeah uh when can i see energies uh, energy beings through the third eye like when does it activate or when you want how, to how harness these techniques okay they're saying something they're saying people think that they're just going to magically open up to these things and while yes that is true for some people there is a refinement of an atrophied muscle that has not been utilized it is like asking you go to the gym once or twice when am i gonna lift 120 kilos no it doesn't work like that they're saying and heed this message for all i don't know who else is going to listen to this but like for all there are routine steps that you can take just like brushing your teeth so you don't go to the dentist intentionality uh, poise practice refining your techniques for connect connectivity um some will begin telepathically um, learning what it is that your psychic sense is the strongest in and learning how to adapt and upgrade the other senses so they work um full-bodied in full effect so 
Does that answer your question? I think so, yeah. Basically to train slow, then slowly go forward. Yeah, like doing some training, learning how to channel energy, learning how to conduct energy, learning how to harness past life memories, learning how to astral travel. These types of spiritual techniques will very greatly facilitate your expansion and learning how to align to the version of yourself that is already um, this way inclined. Mm -hmm. Time, diligence, practice. There are techniques, very simple ones that you can learn. Any example? Can they give any good example or any things I'll that I can do? I'll, I'll show you my course. I literally have a course exactly like this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah. I'll show you my multidimensional energy channeling course. Basically, everything they're saying I've made into a course. So, uh, when we come out of the channel, I'll show you this course. <laughs> okay. Get that ashrat again, then I said again, and then keeping your heart open and pure, and reading and being receptive to the signs, the little ooh synchronicity, the little ooh message here and there um get that shit again it's like um rapunzel and the gingerbread man no that's not what it's mm -hmm. called the gingerbread man. The, the gingerbread house um get that shit again you're picking up the little pieces and oh that's a little snack for the for the next piece that i find there's sustenance to sustain you to the next part of your journey so you are already receiving these are you not yes i am slow small morsel morsel to keep me going <laughs> I think that they're saying you don't understand that those slow morsels are actually leaps and bounds comparatively to the progression of consciousness not even five years ago. So they're, in a way they're saying like consider yourself lucky because there are people like who started and they would get a slow morsel once every like 20 kilometers and you're now getting one every like one kilometer. You know what I mean? Get that shit together. Yes, yes, yes. It's accelerating. Right, correct. He said you'll be there in no time. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. You'll be there in no time. Honestly, I think like this is a message for like just humanity. Like you're gonna get there. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Yeah, I shall order. And then they said like yeah. And then saying unless there is anything else you require of us, it is now our time to bid you farewell. Uh, can I have one more question? Of course. Yes. You ask as many as you need. Uh Okay, uh, I've been seeing this angel number 11776622443. Are this like a wink from the spirit or what do they say? Each number represents a vibrational velocity of a different frequency. They're saying the angelic realm works. They're showing me like seven beings. Um, get the unknown They all work to activate the archetypal wisdoms of which in that they bring through. So seven is like this like this being and one is like more f this being um like there's a different archetypal energy associated to each of the numbers and they work in tandem to create a holistic balancing effect within your life. So when you see them get tune into what it is you feel when you are activating these numbers inside you based on your preferred desires does that make sense i guess so because they can come out in any form like youtube comments youtube ratings reddit and uploads. you're saying you see one one seven seven three three like you see it as one long number uh most of the time it's double sometimes triple oh okay so you're not seeing the full readout of like the number yeah yeah that's so funny yeah get that shirt again then he started to get that shirt to the shirt to get that the other shirt yeah and then in a yeah to a key or to a shirt to you know i get a sort of t-shirt to get the end and he should again okay they're saying that they are departing now what are you sure to get and i said to get this shirt to get like a shirt to get this shirt to get a tuning to their energy and meditation will enable you to experience the answers in which you seek so I'm just going to let them go. Giving thanks and blessings to all beings that have been here today. You're all blessed and dismissed. <sighs> Closing off any and all po open portals of light. Letting all energy received by Tommy to integrate. Over the next six days is integration time. And I'm just going to close down all channels. Coming back through the dimensional landscapes. Coming back down into our body. Closing down, closing down, closing down.